What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another weekly roundup. Today, we're going to be taking a look at everything that they added to the game and some stuff that they removed. Yeah, so this is a bit of a bit of a bit of a, a video that we're going to just do every Thursday. We always do it every Thursday where we talk about all the updates, stuff that they've added, new cards, whatever. But yeah, they have um they have made a couple of changes, which I'm going to get into as well and have a little bit of chat about that. But firstly, we're just going to go through everything, right? So there is no authentic matches or events this week. We do have the friend match, obviously that's still available with the 1v1 there, um, where you can choose the normal teams and the trial match as normal. If you're not at your console, this will be a quick fire way of answering everything and looking at everything that's there, right? So events at the moment with this, we have our rinse and repeat, we have our League 1 Uber Eats where you get your um, chance deal uh, for your player of the week. We also have the knockout stage special event and you get an award. I like this, right? You get an award for winning this. So when you enter this here, you will get the ultimate prize of a new kit, a new in-game kit, which is the eFootball Origin Pro Edition uh, jersey, right? So that you'll be able to wear in-game, okay? So that is the reward for it. All you have to do is play one match. It's very, very easy. Um, and that is the same jersey as they released on the eFootball Points shop. Um, but it's just a different colorway, right? Um, we've also got the unlimited here, which is user matches. That's just for your 50 coins. And of course, we have the Liga BBVA, which is still ongoing, right? So they added the unlimited, the knockout stage, special event, and this league one here. So that is it for the events. Now, eFootball League, the next season of eFootball League will be getting underway on the 6th of July. Um, so that's going to be something to keep an eye on as well if you are looking to get up the, the divisions because it does reset, obviously. Now, one big omission, lads, is co-op. Co-op is gone, right? So the beta is over. Um, I'm trying to get information into when we can, yeah, when we can discuss the future of it. Um, but as of right now, they said that they were going to be having a two-week beta for the co-op and then they're going to be taking a little bit of time to check what worked, what didn't work, what they need to improve upon, what they need to add, how to incorporate it into, you know, modes, rankings, um, you know, a better way of inviting players, you know, gameplay tweaks. I think they're probably going to make a big change to the game with eFootball 2024, and I would say that co-op will roll into that. But we will get into that later in the co-ops, in the stream that I'm going to be doing later, and we'll have a chat about that as well and get your guys' thoughts. There you have a picture of the new kit that they're going to be adding. So that is the eFootball Origin Pro Edition kit. All you have to do is basically play the game, play one match, and you unlock that. Now, in terms of stuff that they've added in as well, right? So they do uh, talk about a couple of issues here, um, just a couple of small issues. We are aware that some users have experienced an error when attempting to receive items. That should be fixed, and there's 10,000 GP there, and there was also additional maintenance, so the maintenance is just over. You have a new login campaign as well, which you can see here, which is for the eFootball Pro, uh, eFootball Championship Pro as well. Um, we also have a couple of new things added here, right? So uh, firstly, we're going to take a look at the shop because they finally... And I'm delighted about this. They finally added a new player to the shop, and it is Robbie Keane. I'm going to definitely get him on my road to glory, pair him up, up front with collar, two-pronged attack, um, and have Messi through the middle. I think his stats look pretty decent. We're going to train him up as a goal poacher, high acceleration, balance, and finishing. I think he looks very, very deadly. Um, he does only have 12 levels to go, which is a bit of a pity, but we'll see what we can do with him. Um, so that's a new card there for 5,000 eFootball points and the strips. As I said, this is the exact strip that they have for the eFootball Championship Pro Edition. It's just a different colorway. And um, yeah, you can just get it for free rather than paying 5,000 points. There's also a sale on uh, or a reduction on the trainer programs. And the contract renewal is still 25,000. But the trainer programs, you can see here um, that you can get 4,000 now for 1,000. And you can get 1,000 XP for 1,200. So this 4,000 trainer program here is usually 5,000. It's down to 1,000 now. So if you want to stock up on that, I mean, you can go for it if you want to get a load of trainer points, right? A trainer programs. Uh, if you've got a couple of spare um, eFootball points like I have, especially if they're going to be expiring. Then on to kind of the biggest one as we have every week, lads, it is going to be the contracts. Um, you know, every week we have more and more contracts coming. This week, we probably have one of the, what I feel is going to be one of the most, you know, overpowered cards of all time, right? We've got a Fortress Marquinhos, okay? This guy is absolutely insane. Um, I mean, I, I definitely don't feel, don't think that, look, they, they just have to keep going up and up now, man, with the cards. Like, that's basically where, um, you know, where we're at with it. Um, Marquinhos is one of the best players in the game, as is, and to add Fortress to him, uh. <laughs> 
you know, a lot of people obviously will will question about whether Fortress is um whether Fortress is a good player skill or not. But I mean, even without that, he's got blocker interception, he's got good speed, acceleration, he's got a wavering form, he's got excellent defensive capabilities to play on the right mid or right back, DMF or C B. He is probably one of the best center backs that I've used. The only problem with this card is the fact that it's a build up rather than a, a destroyer, but that doesn't really even seem to come into it. I mean, he's an insane card. Um, I would say that this version of him is probably just slightly worse than the Brazil edition. I will do a full uh, review on it. But, you know, for example, we do uh, the, the boys do have to upgrade um, the player levels here. But even setting him at a level 22, which he has here, I mean, you can get pretty much everything into the 90s, uh, as well as 80 acceleration, you know, 90 jump, or roughly around that 90 jump. And then the rest into lower body, you can get 75 speed. That is an insane card. So we will do a proper video on that. You also have Mbappe, um, another Mbappe, this time is a 99 rated Showtime Mbappe. And you have a Cabela or Cabea uh, as well. Now, these players are in the box for 150 uh, cards. Same with the J-League monthly MVPs. I will do reviews on all of these. The player of the week, I've already done a review on that. So you can check that out in more detail. You've got box to box Trent, who's a CMF. You've got Bruno, which is a DMF. You've got a couple of other good players in here as well, as, uh, including Kamavinga, Chiesa, Perisic, Noah Lang. There's some good players in there. And then we also have uh, more coming next week. So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads, for the roundup. Look, co-op is obviously a big omission. Um, it's 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 going to be something that I, I think they need to get it back soon. I will go into it a little bit more in my live stream. Um, you also will be able to have login bonuses um so this is the challenge event where you get the jersey but there's also going to be a login bonus as well for watching the knockout stages of the championship eFootball championship pro knockout stage so you get 1100 eFootball points and a training program sale as well so if you want to have a few to go towards that um you will be able to do that and as i said right a thousand eFootball points will get you four thousand trainer points as we saw there so um yeah other than that lads there isn't anything else it's mostly cards obviously a few of your players might be out of contract as well so if they are um, make sure and keep an eye on that you can see that Neymar is out you can see that Ansu Fati is out for me Dembele is out for me so a lot of players are now going to start to go out of contract so keep an eye on that with your squad if you don't have contracts um you know I have a video up on how to get more contracts but that is it for me lads I will be back in a little bit as I said we will be streaming um thursday and friday so if you missed the thursday stream by the time this video goes up we will be back friday as well and we'll be streaming later on if i upload this video on friday so that is it for me lads i will talk to you in a bit peace and lads we do have some breaking news which just dropped a few minutes ago i was literally meant to put this video live at 10 30 and then this dropped at 10 18 so i had to re-record a little bit of this video so this is just a tacked on bit at the end they are bringing back co-op on June 29th, so next Thursday, uh, co-op is going to be coming back after the maintenance. And look, it's a big thing, lads. Obviously, when we talked about it earlier in the video a couple of minutes ago, I think co-op has been a breath of fresh air. I definitely think it's something that people will get on board with if they fix a couple of, of key things in it. We are going to do a dedicated video on co-op, and it should be dropping later tonight or else tomorrow. I will be streaming as well today uh, at fr from, I think, maybe 1 p.m., uh, just for maybe like an hour, an hour and a half, or maybe a little bit earlier than that. Um, but yeah, let me know what your thoughts are on co-op. Let me know what your thoughts are on the content and let me know what your thoughts are. I keep repeating myself on the overall game at the moment, whether you're a newcomer, whether you're a veteran, whether you've been playing it since launch. But yeah, let me know specifically what you think of co-op and whether it's something that you're really interested in in the future going forward, or if you would still prefer, you know, your master league or edit mode and all that sort of stuff, because we will be doing a video and I will have some good news very soon, some key news soon. I'm just waiting on when to share it. So that is it for me. I will be back in a little bit. And uh, you can see there in the official Twitter, the confirmation we are getting co-op back next week.